Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim. I am coming to you from Tractor Supply. First time in my life I've ever been to one. I uh, had to get some propane. I got my tank right over here. Uh, I'll tell you what happened this morning. I woke up, uh, the furnace was going, and nothing but cold air was coming out of it. So you can guess the rest of the story. I ran out of propane. And the thermostat was searching for uh, I guess the temperature to um, turn it on and shut it off or whatever. The fan just kept running. I felt like I had air conditioning uh, going because it was in the low 40s this morning. But I searched around and it's uh, $3.39 uh, per gallon. Uh, a 30 gallon propane tank, and I have two of these for my RV. I Googled it, it holds 7.1 gallons. And it took 7.5. Uh, according to the gauge there, but that means that thing was completely empty. But I was told uh, by the nice lady that helped me out here, uh, this thing's gonna weigh 55 pounds. I've, I've done my research. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Uh, oh, the crusher's right here. So I wanna show you something. Right here, there's a little, a little bleeder valve, she told me. I don't know if I'm holding my phone right. Anyway, a little flathead screwdriver. She said that it was a little bit loose. Now, she said the leak would have been small if you had one, but a leak nonetheless. I'm hoping that it was and not the fact that the furnace uses that much propane that fast. I Googled uh, what's more economical using my uh, space heater, my little fan heater uh, that I have. I have two of them uh, to plug that in and use electricity because uh, I'm on 30 amp. Or is it cheaper to run propane? And I moved in on the 1st, and today is what, the 10th or something? And, uh, you know, just say a little over a week, it cost me just now, um, it was uh, 350 a gallon, uh, and I took seven gallons. I got the receipt somewhere, it was like $24 or something like that with tax. And so $24, if I spent $24, that's $75 a month. There's a cute little puppy over here somebody's walking with. Little bitty thing. But um, that sounds expensive compared to electricity. So I got to do some more research. If you guys out there know anything about it, about how much gallons per hour or whatever. Now, I'm not going to be running propane all the time because, you know, it's not going to be cold every night. But we are in winter, so maybe at night it will be. But it's already, um, you know, I can come out of this jacket almost, not quite. <laughs> it's still kind of chill, but we got some beautiful sunshine today after that very crazy weather yesterday that went right across uh, Jacksonville and from the whole East Coast. I hear Panama City Beach got leveled. A lot of areas got the tornadoes there. Uh, my heart goes out to them. But um, anyway, I'm full of propane. I got two of these, and I know I can go at least... Uh, 20 days and this place is not far so I'm not gonna I'm not worried about running out or anything it's just that you know sounds like a lot of money to run a furnace at night maybe I need to um, lower the temperature down instead of running it up to about I don't know 70 uh, maybe I should get it to where it goes down to 60 and just take the chill off it just feels cold in there I'm not used to cold weather yet so whatever it costs I'm gonna pay it because I'm not gonna freeze to death <laughs> So let's put it back here in the back of the truck and let's just get on uh, to the next thing. I've got my laundry up there. They were very nice in there to me and they have all kind of stuff. Clothes, boots, shirts, jackets. Uh, she even told me they got that old time candy. I told her the story about how all you out there in my community sent me all this candy and fruitcake and all that for my, um, for Christmas and my birthday. And I said, I'm gorged out on it. I said, I don't need any more sugar as I'm trying to do good. But I said, I am going to do um, laundry right now. And I wouldn't blame you if you turned me down, but do you have any quarters? They were so nice in there. And for, you know, a retail place to give up their change, uh, you know, it's not usual. They must have had a bunch of it. But I got a roll of quarters to go do my laundry. Believe it or not, this laundromat I, I found, um, I don't think it has a change thing. What kind of laundromat doesn't have a change thing? Or it only took... Maybe I just didn't have cash on me at that time when I when I went there. But anyway, I got quarters now. 
Uh, the last laundromat I had in Boynton Beach, I could use my phone. It had an app, and you could pay with your app. That was very convenient. I like that. But, hey, it is what it is. This laundromat has very nice machines, uh, but it's um, a real small little place. So I'm off to do that, and then, I don't know, I'm going to be outside a lot today. I'm going to do some walking. It is gorgeous today, uh, mid-50s, and just super sunny. But they're saying that another storm's coming uh, tomorrow or Friday. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to the Tampa RV show on the uh, 19th and 20th. So um, if you're going to make it out there to uh, take a look at some RVs, uh, look me up while you're out there. And uh, we'll shake hands, have a cup of coffee, uh, and chew the fat a little bit. Right now, let's get out there today and crush it.